If there's one valuable thing that emerged from the 20th century's flight from the idea of norms in art, it's that it abolished the notion that Western art was somehow superior to everything else. Picasso may have loved, collected, and even stolen African masks and oceanic sculpture, but his use of their imagery didn't change the Western notion of a hierarchy of cultures. But who can look at this Mesoamerican clay sculpture from so long ago and not think that it can stand comparison with anything produced in the West in the last hundred years? Does the original intention of the artist and the use to which the object was put alter our perception? The person who made this figure believed that it embodied a spirit or a god. When a contemporary sculpture such as Richard Serra leans sheets of steel one against the other, there is no vestige of a religious impulse in the work. Perhaps the ancient American craftsmen could be compared to a sculptor in medieval Europe who truly believed that the statues depicted real deities. I think, however, that in both cases we can take advantage of another 20th century bequest. The freedom to acknowledge the cultural milieu of a work of art, while simultaneously praising artists from any age for following their creative instincts, whether prompted by ideology or not.